welcome back to my channel. My name is Labrina and I am an eighth year sixth grade math teacher. Well, I'm not an eighth year sixth grade math teacher. I'm an eighth year teacher who is currently teaching sixth grade math. Um, so I'm here, I'm in my classroom. I have both of my children, so I'm sure you can hear them. So I can guarantee you that we are not gonna be productive today. Um, but let me show you a quick little haul of what I bought when I went to Walmart the other day. All right, like I was saying, so I um, went to Walmart. I had to go grocery shopping and stuff, but of course their back to school section was already out there for all to see. And I got these zipper pouches, they're six pack. I think they were like $5. Um, so I got two of them. Then I got this happy planner calendar because I need one for my desk. My atrocious desk that I have here. And then I also got some stuff off of my Amazon wish list. So I got these answer buzzers somebody bought from me. Um, it was somebody that watched my video. I have to go back and find the name, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And then I also got, we're just gonna use this stapler remover. I got the magnetic whiteboard dry erasers. So this also came from a YouTube viewer. Um, she says the struggle is real keeping dry erase markers and pencils last the year. Um, from Sierra. Sierra, thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate you. My students will definitely appreciate you as well. Um, and we will think about you when we use these dry erase erasers. So that is what we got from the Amazon wish list. Um, I have things that I laminated that I need to put up. What else do I have to do today? I'm gonna try to find my, I don't know, string, twine, whatever the heck I have up here to hang. I'm gonna just like hang it like this and like this, like two rows maybe, and then like clip things. Like I'm going to make it like the fridge. Um, so one of my viewers on YouTube recommended that. And I did have that last year in my classroom and the kids really liked it. They did draw stuff and have me hang in. I still have some of their stuff somewhere in these boxes that are left here. Um, so yeah. What else do I have to do? And I really, really, really want to tackle the curriculum stuff. And I hear all of those little colored tiles falling on the floor over there. So I'm sure we have lots to clean up. He's picking them up. Okay. So, love you. So, that's what we're going to do today. So, let's get cracking. All right, so we also had the mystery of the missing chairs, and I came in today, and this guy was here, so this blue chair. Now, this is not the chair that I was missing. I was missing seven black chairs that I handpicked. They look like the same style as that, but they are black, and somebody was nice enough to bring me this blue one. Oh, don't mind our little Christmas headband, but yeah, so... Luckily, I have at least that chair to stand on because I will not be standing on this and falling on my face. So we're going to get that chair and we are going to put our header daily agenda up there. I use my Cricut to make it. It's like my one crafty thing I did so far this year. So let's do that. Okay, so Let's not talk about daily is way too small, so now I have to go home and fix that. Okay. And agenda is just right. Great. 
All right, so I have these square root clock cards to put around the clock. I'm gonna to try to do that, and uh, I'm gonna to have to do some math to make sure that I put them in the right spot. Okay. Where is it? Whatever. The number one needs to come down. Now I have to get back up there and do that. But, well, I think number one and two need to come over. Everything else looks okay. number four the one that I couldn't find is gonna be the death of me every time it's the only one that has fallen it's the one that I couldn't find for like the two times that I was here found it and every time I've come here it's fallen to the ground or is sitting on top of there so I also made these little cars I can make something else for here I don't know what I'm gonna put there <laughs> They're as secure as they're gonna get these two things of twine. So I'll put a header, the fridge, and then things that they draw, I'm just gonna hang with a clothespin of some sort to put on there. So still don't know what we're doing here. I feel like each of these need to have like a, a header, something, I don't know. Still don't know what I'm doing here. Daily needs to be way bigger. Didn't measure that correctly. Um, I never printed my labels because I just didn't. I didn't get time to do that since the last time I was here. I really want to sort this out. And I think I may tackle that today. This looks pretty good so let's get to this okay so I got these classroom rules from maniacs in the middle so we're gonna do this at the beginning of the year but I didn't cut this black part like I didn't cut around it and I want to back it against um, like I want to back it like that so I didn't think about that till now. So now I'm gonna laminate this and I'm going to stick it right up there, up here. So they'll be over there. I still have no idea what I'm putting on any of these three bulletin boards in the back, maybe from each unit and then I can like switch them out um, as we're done the unit. Um, that daily is really bugging me. like. That is like, what is that? I don't even know what the heck I was thinking. Um, I thought, thought it looked fine, but it obviously isn't. So I'm waiting for my laminator to heat up so we can laminate these sheets, put these rolls there. My board is hideous. Like I have no idea what in the world was happening in this classroom for them to scratch it the way they did. Let me show you. Like, what is this? What is this? I, I have no idea. No idea. I would have lost my mind if that happened to my board. I literally would have lost my mind. Um, so, my kids went with the facilities manager. He took them on the little dolly and is wheeling them around the building. So... 
five minutes to myself. Oh my gosh. Um, thank goodness for him. He still has no idea where my chairs went, but he said that he was the one that gave me the blue chair. He's like, I know it's not seven, but here's one blue one. So that's that. All right, laminator is ready. Let's go. All right, I think it looks okay. I mean, that blue one might be a little tad bit higher, but you know what, I don't even care at this point. So, I like it. And maybe do like Mommy. class rules. So, I'm cutting these, um, place value cards. I got them off of TPT. Oh, mommy, I need you. Mommy, you better not give me your big red scissors. I am not the old for big red scissors. I got it. Okay, these scissors are horrible. Let's go back to these ones. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing. So, bringing your children with you is not recommended, but it's the reality of being a teacher and being off in the summer and not having anything to do with them. Like tomorrow, we leave for the beach. So like next week, I won't be coming in here because I'll be at the beach for 10 days. Um, but like, what am I supposed to do with them? So they have to come here and thank god for like our facilities guy who tries to entertain them um in between moving things around in this building um they also did find out that they both fit into the lockers and they uh can shut themselves in there and get out i did not know that you can get out of the locker from the inside but you can um, I probably didn't know that because I never got stuffed into a locker. I'm gonna take this uh, so that's what's happening. So now they're having some snacks and hopefully they can be quiet for like five to ten minutes so that um, I can cut these out, hang them somewhere, I think along the back wall. But we will see. I also need to know which order they go in, so I'm gonna have to like check on my computer because I'm not good with place value exponents. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that since I am gonna be teaching math, but go back. Um I'll figure it out. And Here you are. Go sit down, please. Okay. Thank you. Um, so also, my desk, you know how we talked about how hideous it was? I got some paint, like black paint, and I'm going to paint over, like, the rusted metal legs. I mean, this could be a disaster waiting to happen. But we're going we're gonna to do that. We're going to go for it and pray that it works and doesn't look as crappy as it does now. All right, two more to go. Two more to go. So I made these 
number cards. They're 1 to 24. And they are going to go on the lockers out in the hallway. I'm going to Velcro dot them because, I mean, if I have to change them out, I can do that. But do I paint the legs of my desk or do I do this first? Let me paint the legs of my desk, but try to do it discreetly so my children don't see the paint because I'm sure they'll want to come over here and try to mess with it. So I'm going to try to do that discreetly and then go Velcro dot all these number cards on my lockers. Okay. painted the legs we I mean me I painted the legs of my desk I mean this is still nasty and I tried to clean it off I gotta go get some like goo gone or something to do that and I'm gonna go get my children because they're like locking themselves in the lockers <laughs> 